Hello, good afternoon. I am Cece Rivera. Today I want to focus on how to stop comparing yourself to others. Almost all of us have this one common destructive daily habit. That is to compare ourselves to others. We compare houses, jobs, phones, cars, relationships, money, and social positions, and so on. What this habit does is it creates negativity within us, and this may also reflect in our behavior. So what should we do? How can we get rid of this habit of comparing? If this is what you are thinking, then the three tips I give you will prove to be of help and effective. Number one, understand that you will never win if you do not stop comparing. Even if you keep repeating this in your mind and realize this consciously, it will help. Despite whatever you do, how much efforts you put in, how hard you strive, there always has to be someone who is better than you or has more than you. Of course, you may feel great if you buy a new smartphone, which is better than the one your friend has, but pretty soon you will find someone who has a phone better than yours. So understand that comparing is futile. Number two, if at all, compare yourself only to yourself. Rather than comparing yourself with others, it will be better if you develop the habit of comparing yourself to your own self. Sit back and think how much you have progressed, how much you have grown, and how close you are in reaching toward your own goals. This habit will develop kindness, appreciation, and gratitude toward yourself as you notice how much you have done and all the hurdles you have crossed. So you will be feeling good about yourself without feeling as less. It will be a good idea to make this a habit, say by spending a few minutes every weekend to write down how much you have achieved how much closer you are to your life goals, what you have learned and achieved, etc. Number three, learn to be kind. Perhaps you never realized that you imagine that the way that you behave with others also has an impact on how and what you think about yourself. If you have this habit of always criticizing and judging others, chances are you will also criticize and judge yourself often, even if it is unconsciously. So try to help others and be kinder to them and you automatically will learn to be kinder to yourself. Just try to focus on the positive things in life, the positives in others and the positives within yourself. The more you start seeing just the good things in others and in yourself, you gradually will stop comparing and lead a happier and more fulfilled, satisfying life.